What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode number Yay. 101 of Living the Shredder Life. Uh, I love how you did that, Trace. Uh, number one, you are number one. So tonight, uh, man, do we got some fire for you. We got some value. This is going to be absolutely epic. Um, before we start, I would highly recommend grab a notepad, get a pen, yeah. uh, get ready to take some notes because tonight on the call, I have one half of the New Zealand Grand Prize Isobody Champions on the call, Trace yeah. Walker. So first off, Trace, welcome to Living the Shredder Life. I am so excited that we figured out this time difference <laughs> and you and I are able to get this done because it was a mission, right? We were like two dummies. It was funny, but I am so honored to be here and really, really excited. It is a little bit weird. I don't have my plus one with me, but some say I'm the better looking half, but others say he is. Depends what you want. But I'm just so <laughs> excited. I am so amped to be here. I'm so I promise excited. I won't yeah. give away his secret. Yeah, I'm so excited. So for people that don't know, um, both you and your husband are actually the current 2022 isobody grand prize new zealand champions right you guys won that together you said it we won it together and if you don't know it is the first time it's ever been done in isogenics 20 years we've been isogenics and it's the first time this has ever happened so it was such an honor so humbling it was just like oh my gosh we actually did it we actually yeah. did it yeah. And I mean, it's a huge feat because I know like, you know, I mean, you and I are just getting to know each other. Um, you know, we're starting to chat more, which I'm super grateful for. But, you know, to, to prep for this, obviously, I asked you, you know, give me a short little bio and you sent back. I mean, to, to be in that position, I know is just got to feel so epic because you sent me a thing that said I went from a tired, depressed um, unmotivated. Uh, and I forgot the other words that you said to me, but they were not nice. Um, you know, mm -hmm. version of yourself when you started three years ago, only three years ago, right. To where now you guys just get crowned, you know, the grand prize champions out of thousands of other people. Um, so I guess let's get started this way, Trace, if, if that's okay with you. Um, share with people, first of all, we already know your name's Trace Walker. That's awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Where are you from? Um, and, you know, kind of what led you up to this journey of health? Kind of take me back to like before in that old Trace where you started to kind of paint a picture for people of kind of where you were. And then we can kind of come into this. Does that sound good? Yeah, it sounds good. It's um, okay. And I always say, how long have we got? Because sometimes you can make such a big story. And with how I was and who I was, I could write a book. And we probably could all mm. say that. But like you just said in my bio, you know, I was a broken, I was adrenal fatigued. I was a walking zombie. I had no energy. I have four children. I have one husband. Um, we have a farm, sheep and beef. We are, we're busy people like everybody. But yeah. I had just been, so my oldest is 19 and our youngest is five. So it's a, that's a big stretch of being a mum. And it became all I knew. It was all I was doing. I was yeah. waking up just to be a mum. I was waking up just to make their lunch, just to do their food, just to wash their clothes, just to clean the house. And I know uh, so many mums are in this place right now and yeah. you're exhausted and you're tired and you're only getting up out of bed because you have to exist for your children no mm. other reason mm. and you just come to a place like I was so dark I was so heavy I was depressed and like I said I was adrenal fatigue because I wasn't sleeping at night time mm. my brain is always so busy but my body just didn't want to keep up mm. so why probably because my health was absolute crap I was yeah. overweight. I wasn't massively overweight, but I was overweight, which made me uncomfortable, which made me not, I hated myself in the mirror. I had no self-love, no self-respect, no self-worth. I had lost everything of who I was. Wow. Because I did, I, I became a mum at, so I became a mum at 19 years old. Mm -hmm. My oldest is now 19 years old. 
Mm-hmm. And I look at him and I go, man, how did I become a parent at such a young age? But it is what changed my life at yeah. that stage of being 19. You, you're not even mature in your own thoughts, but you then have a child. You have to grow up real quick. And I had to make some serious decisions. Mm. And it ended up being just me and him, single mum for a long time. And then when I met my hunky husband, Hens, I vouched that I would never have any more children until I was married and in a solid relationship. And then that's when we began to have our next children. But so, again, rolling in, just being mum, 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 mum. You know that word? Lots of you mums listening right now. Mum, 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 mum. It's like, can you just call me something else for one second because I'm just so sick and tired of hearing that word. Mm. I didn't. I just didn't want to be a mum for one day I just wanted to forget all these feelings like as I'm talking right now the emotions of how worn out I was how heavy how heavy and dark life was that Mm. I wanted out I got to a place of wanting out Mm. this was affecting our marriage so part of our story is our marriage our marriage had been has been saved through our isogenic journey Thank you, God. But our marriage was broken because Mm. I was broken. And this was portraying onto everything I was doing, the way I was parenting, the way I was a wife, the way I was to my extended family. I didn't even want to leave the house. Yeah. So, yeah, Yeah. it was heavy. And I know a lot of you right now, you absolutely hear what I'm saying. And Mm. a lot of you are like, oh, my gosh, it sounds like you're talking about me because unfortunately in the world today, this is so common and people are stuck. People are struggling and people are looking for a way, but they don't know where to look. Yeah. Thank God I was showing the little brown box. Cross our path. And it has changed everything in such a short space of time as well. Like we're now three years but when Isogenics came across, it was at a time where we were about to divorce. Mm. We were going to end our marriage because we were just, you know, we weren't being good role models. It was not a healthy home. It was not a happy home. It was not a healthy marriage. And no one wants to live and grow up in that atmosphere. Um, a part of Hinati's story he'll sh- he'll talk about is his, his childhood was what we started creating, dysfunction. Mm. Mm. You know, and looked in the mirror and we both said we can't do this to our children we are not going to allow this cycle of the broken family to carry on so we made a point of saying enough's enough we either end this or we do something about this isogenics mm. came right because we were praying we were asking god and isogenics came along and we just said yes we had no other option it was say yes we threw everything we had into this system into isogenics and you know what saved us is the community we threw mm. ourselves straight into iso body i don't know if many of you are in that community but if you are you heard jackie talk last week she, we only met jackie through iso body and now mm-hmm. we are sisters we, we have gone through a journey together we have created like this incredible friendship together because of isogenics And a lot of you in here, again, you probably have made some friends that are real friends just through meeting them through Isogenics. So as life started to evolve through using these products, I started to feel good. I lost weight, which then made me be able to look in the mirror and go, oh, hello, there you are. But other than the weight, the biggest thing was here. Yeah. My mind. Clarity. Yeah. The fog started lifting and those thoughts of, oh, my gosh, I actually am a human being that is worth so much more. And I was showing how to dream again, how to believe again, how to trust in myself that I was good enough to have a better life. Mm. And it literally, so when I say it saved me, I literally mean it. It saved me as a mum, me as a wife, but me as a person on my as myself too. Mm from a depressed mum to somebody who just I absolutely love and adore my children. I get up and I'm like, let's go. What are we doing today? And it's exciting again. Life is exciting and there's there's a fire under me. That's because my health changed. Yeah. Self-development. And as my health changed, 
what happens when your health changes and you start getting healthy again is this start changing it starts changing yeah. and it's just amazing the power when we align good health with our life everything just changes and i'm just like i could go on and on and on about how incredible we like i feel now but running you know we just like i said we went in with everything we were in our garage till midnight working out just there was like it was like an epiphany mm. you know mm. like it's worth so much more than living down in the dumps and when yeah. you're showing away and you grasp it with everything you have and you run with it with everything you've got because you need you just need to save yourself then you just go and go and go but so yeah. I, I sleep now. I sleep all night. I'm happy. Not all the time. I still growl. I'm still a mum and there's still bad days. <laughs> human. Hey, we're all human. But I have sure. an energy that is able to cope better. Mm. I'd never coped. But now I can cope. I don't lose my shit at them and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I could murder this child right now. I yeah. actually can cope because I have strategies and because I – I just have a healthier mindset that I know a hard day is always going to end and there'll be a better day afterwards. Mm, 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 mm. Well, so I got, I got, I got literally goosebumps because, you know, I'm a dad um, and, and yeah. my kids are my world, you know, unfortunately, you know, my first marriage didn't work out, um, you know, and sometimes it's for the better, you know what I mean? Like we were great co-parents and, you know, my marriage now is amazing with my little guy and, and everybody gets along and we're happy. But um, just to know that you guys had the courage to say yes. I mean, I don't think the average person would look at it and go, oh, you know, my, my life's falling apart. Things are shit. And I'm going to say yes to health. So I'm really curious first. And, and also thank you for showing up and being so real and so vulnerable. I know that that's a, a big thing for you. Um, and I just, I just appreciate that so much because you're right, Trace, there's, there's not a little amount of people. There's millions of people that, are going to hear this and hopefully hear your story and go, holy crap, that's me. Like, that's my life. Um, you know, I see glimpses. I mean, we have a toddler and it's just me and her and the little guy. So I can't imagine four. And that's hard. You know, we're, we're both running around and, and we're running, you know, multiple businesses and we're both trying to make it in life and be that a good example and train to be athletes. And I mean, life is crazy. Right. And I see that, her, you know, with her struggling and some of the things that you mentioned, like mom, 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 mom. And, you know, if any guys out there that says moms don't get the most of it, like you're just not being real with yourself because moms get the most of it. Uh, and I'll be happy. Yeah. Like I'm the first to admit that. So it's like, it, it's hard. And, you know, bravo to you guys for saying that. First of all, who's the magical superhero that shared isogenics with you? We have to recognize that person. It was actually my cousin, Rebecca. She's not in ER shred, but she's still here. She still uses. And yeah. she she used to she started and she just said you've got to try this but it also Jess is so before I started at this round I actually used isogenics so it'd be five eight years ago eight okay when I had my, when I had my third son yeah. I tried it 30 days and I had great I had great results but there was no coaching there was no community there was nothing for me to cling on to yeah. because I needed my support. So I did it for yeah. 30 days and see you later. So why yeah. was it easy for me to say yes is because I I knew the system worked. You knew it worked. I knew okay, it good. Lose weight, but yeah. I didn't realize the extent of what it would do for my mental health. And my mental health is what had taken the biggest toll. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, listen, Trace, I, I, I preach as much as I can to anybody who will listen I say, you have no idea what saying yes to yourself can do. Um, Cause I believe that, and you're a walking billboard for this. I believe that when we say yes to our health, that puts us in a position to radically shift everything else in our life. 
And you literally just shared why. I mean, your your mental health, the way you show up to be a mom, the way you show up to, to work, the way you show up in your personal relationships, your friendships, um, everything changes because when your body's functioning on all cylinders and everything is connecting the way that we were designed to function, um, you can think clearer. You can be less stressed out. You can handle more shit. It's not like, you know, people get this like weird thing, right? I'm sure you've seen this. Like, it's like, oh, I'm going to get healthy. And we think like, whatever. I'm like, no, things are still going to happen. Like life is still going to throw softballs at your face uh, and you're yeah. going to get kicked and you're going to get hit in the back a lot. Um, but you're going to have the strength yes. to fight through. And, and you're that freaking warrior. Like you're, you're the perfect example of exactly what can happen if you keep showing up for you, right? Yes. Um, and especially being a mom, there's so many moms that will be like, well, I'm gonna do everything for my kids and they don't show up for them. And you just, you said that's what you did. Like you were showing up like that. Um, and I see you like, go ahead, speak to that. I know you got something like, I, what would you say to moms who are, who are continuously putting themselves on the back burner thinking that it's greedy or selfish or whatever other shit society wants to make up to tell a mom like why they shouldn't take care of themselves first? Like, what would you say to that? You, uh, you just spoke my language, like everything you just said. And I, you know what? I still sometimes feel that guilt today. But I know, I know because I've done so much growth that I am number one. And if I do not put myself first, my health first, my mental, like my mental clarity first, how can I show up and be that mum that they actually need? If I'm running on wow. empty and I'm exhausted and I'm blowing my trumpet all the time at them, what kind of quality relationship am I setting with my children? What mm. kind of example am I setting for my sons for their future wives? Mm. And they, you know, mm. a, a, a mother is a son's first love. I say sons because I have three sons, one daughter. So our daughter and hens, their relationship is so solid. And me mm. and my three boys, we are solid because I know the groundwork of what I do and how I show up for them is the future of a kind of wife that they're going to pick. And my God, do I want them to pick somebody who loves themselves. So mm. then when they connect, they do not become a burden and a mess and dysfunction and brokenness. I want them both to fire on both all cylinders. So those mums out there who are like, oh, but I've got to put my son first or uh, just show uh, it's so important to show up for yourself and the mindset it always makes us feel guilty because we as mums birth these children into the world so we as mums have to protect them and yes that's our job we have to make our children number one but that's so wrong we have to make mm. ourselves number one first to make mm. them number one bravo so, so well said, so well said. Um, I, I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you. Um, and I would say from a male perspective, dad's got to do the same thing. Uh, dad's got to do the yes. same thing. You know, I mean, if again, if you're not showing up and you're just stressed as shit from work all day and you're bringing that home to your, your family and your relationship and you can't learn how to manage it, you don't have outlets for stress, you don't have a, a, a healthy foundation, your blood sugars are all over the place and you're all whacked out every day. Like, what good are you going to be? Like, what good are you going to be? I mean, Mic drop. I wish I had a microphone because I would just drop it from what you just said. Um, those are some hard, heavy questions that I really hope that people go back and write down and really just journal about them. I would encourage you to journal what she just asked you. I would encourage you to really sit with yourself and just kind of vision into the future. Man, if I was 30 pounds less, how would I show up every day? How would I feel? What would that do for me? Um, what would that losing weight then then catapult and and connect into other things? And and how could that? How could I be a better person? And I think if you sit with that, you know, you'll realize what you've come to realize over these last you know multiple years, um, just how much more of life you can actually live to the fullest, right? Yeah. To the fullest. 
when you say yes to you, when you say yes to you, you know, so bravo to you yeah. guys. And like when you're saying, saying yes to you, Jess, is when you're saying yes to you, at the same time, you're saying yes for your children, because yes. as you become a better person, they're yes. going to grow in that. So for us, like I said at the start, our family um, dynamics, it was so broken, you know, yeah. arguments and it just was ugly. And our children, you look around the world today, there is so much dysfunction. Look at our youth on the street. We have a massive problem here with drugs, alcohol, mm -hmm. um, gang violence, so much. Why? Yeah. It's because when they grow up to be teenagers, they haven't had the role models to show them, you know, quality of life, integrity, values. They haven't been taught those values. And if yeah. we didn't make that change for our children, then they would have grown up to do that too. And there's no mm. way in here that I want to see one of my children on the street like doing pee or in cells because they've gone and robbed a dairy for some smokes, yeah. you know. They're just they're out of their minds. And if we yeah. don't make a change and stop and draw that line for our own children first, then they're going to grow and do the same. So as we save ourselves, we can then go on and inspire to help somebody else save their family. And yeah. that's how it'll work with the ripple effect. And we've got to do our best at showing up to make that happen. 100%. 100%. Mm. I, I, I can't, there's nothing even to add. I mean, that's just amazing. Amazing, you know? Um, and again, I, I just it's hope really people really, I, I just hope people really choose to, um, you know, to sit with that and to really, you know, that's, that's hard to um that's not easy to do that's not easy to do what what trace is sharing with you um but i think it's do i even dare say it's our obligation right it's our obligation as parents as you know humans even to 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 want to show up better right it, it's going to help you it's going to help your family and i think that if we all start doing this as a collective i mean look at the community of isobody look at the community of er shred look at what that's doing when that caliper of person comes together on a common thread and a common goal and everybody's taking care of them. I mean, Trace, you've seen the thousands of stories just like I have, like your epic story Absolutely. and all the other ones that are in there. It's the same thing over and over. So it's like, we're not just like saying this because it's like it happened to one person, right? Like she's sharing with you, this is her story. This is her epic life. But I'm telling you, I've watched this happen to literally thousands of people now. Um, the same thing happens when you decide to say yes to yourself and you can put the whatever guilt and shame and whatever else society has brainwashed you into believing. You can throw that shit to the back burner and, and kind of experiment for yourself. I just know that you'll see epic stuff. So I don't want, I know we kind of brushed over her, but I want to say a big shout out to your cousin, Rebecca, because she's really the superhero who brought isogenics back into your life. And, and you wouldn't be here right now, whether she's going, going hard or, or not. Um, she's still that superhero. You know what I mean? And that's another thing is like, don't be scared to share. You know what I mean? Like people need something. They need something. Yes. Uh, and we're hoping that, you know, we can show you a solution because we know we have it. And I'm also hoping mm -hmm. that, you know, Trace's story and her being vulnerable and real and sharing with you guys from the heart where she was, what it's done for her, uh, all the life changes and impacts that it's made. I hope that will get you to reach out to her, um, say, hey, what the hell's going on? Reach out to me. Get in our group, www.ershredders.com. It's freaking free. If you're not in there, I'm telling you, you're missing out. Um, you know, you don't even got to say anything. Just, just come hang out and I guarantee see your days are going to be better because it's just so inspirational. So, so let's true. get into this now. So you said yes to health. You guys all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, obviously, but you start to put this stuff in your body. You change some things about your health. You're paying more attention and take me through kind of the shifts. You know, you had mentioned something about, you know, you and Hens working out in the garage together. I thought immediately, I'm like, holy crap, like you created more date things for yourself. Like you don't realize that, that just doing a workout in the garage can be a date that you weren't having before. And you're adding that time. So what kind of happened? Like, what did you guys see start to shift first? 
um, and and kind of take take us down the the different stages, if you will, so people can kind of see, um, you know, obviously, you know, wrapped up. The journey, yeah. The journey. Um, like I said, the first thing we jumped straight into was ice to body, and we created a vision. We were taught about vision boards and dreams who the heck dreams you know dreams are like when you're an adult you're not allowed to use imagination because it's just you know come on time to grow up right but yeah. that was so robbed for us and when we started learning about you know to dream and live those visions and to make them become a reality it was just like ah oh, this is what I've been missing all my life and we created the vision from day one when we signed up on our first ISA body was to win as a couple, to stand on that stage and win as Trace and Hens Walker. And it took us, so three challenges, only three challenges that one year. It took Hinari to become a finalist and then I won finalist in the next challenge. And through that time, so first 16 weeks, we, yeah. Like I said, we were in the garage. We'd take an E-shot yeah. and a nitro bomb and go have a party in the shed. We don't have a gym. It's in town, which is a half an hour drive. So we had to use our imaginations and go lift yeah. tires or weights or whatever in the shed. We've got a treadmill and a rowing machine, and we just did body weight. Turn on YouTube. We would use whatever we had to use, and we just, like, thrashed our bodies because we were so high on energy we were so driven with this goal that was set out here that we just went at it every day every day every day and then the next 16 weeks we went at it again and again oh I'm not a finalist yet so we went at it again and again and again this top through all this time the reason why why we just were so lit and so energized is because we were fueling our bodies with everything in the system so we yeah. were so healthy. My, our yeah. mindsets were so driven and focused. And sure, there were hurdles, but when we hit a hurdle, Hinari had quite a few hurdles with injuries, but the key thing was the community that helped lift him back up. And because I'm still here going, 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 he's watching in that support in itself. So he was able to pick himself back up a lot quicker yeah. and get back in the game. So there was never a moment where it was like, uh, this is too hard. I give up. We wanted so much more for ourselves, for our health, for our well-being, for our family, that there was no option B. There was no mm. quitting. On our wall with gold spray paint, I spray painted winner 100% right across the big wall. And we what we saw that every time we were working out, it was there in our visual. In our bathroom, yeah. I had... I had little post-it notes all over the mirror. So every time you're brushing your teeth, hop out of the shower, we saw grand final winner. We saw it. We were seeing it. We were believing it yeah. every day. From someone yeah. who never believed in themselves to then believing in yourself every day because I was given the support and the people that trusted me and, and sowed, they sowed belief into me until I started believing in myself. And then when I became... But when I saw what could be possible, we just started running and running and running and running. And then, yep, two years later, we were on that stage in Australia. Jackie was over here. She was an yeah. emotional, bawling mess. Um, it was such a phenomenal journey to do it with people. You know, all 10, there was 15 of us on that stage. We've become like family. We still all have a chat today where we talk mm -hmm. to each other. Mm -hmm. The relationships that you build is what keeps you going and then in that moment when we stood on the stage and jackie was announced first like i have the video we watch it and we cry every yeah. time and um jackie's probably shared with you but you know she was just an emotional wreck she won and it was just like oh my gosh and then when they announced it was steve foxy standing on the stage he pulled his yeah. envelope out and he said that when he said those words for the first time ever we all just went oh Oh my god! Yeah. And then he said, "A couple, Trace and Hens walk in." The crowd just yeah. went wild, and yeah. you know for that vision from day one, where we chose to believe in that vision that we drew on the wall. We 
if, if you just focus on what you what you really want to become a reality, it will work. And it just yeah. is the proof of saying anything is possible. So yeah. many people walk around going, I could never do that. I don't have the time. I don't have the commitment. I'm never consistent enough. I just can't mm -hmm. do it. But that's yeah. where belief comes in. And we just, we prove that anything is possible because we yeah. bloody did it. We bloody did it. Yeah. First time. Uh, Husband and wife. We so amazing. So epic. You know, I'm, I'm holding my heart because it's, you know, I just, I, again, I, I want to point out just a couple of things for people just in case they are missing it. But number one is making radical change. You know, she shared that with you. Like yeah. if you want to change, you have to first commit to change and you got to dive you got to dive in. Like you just got to dive in. There's no tiptoeing. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to feel fear. Growth is a partner to fear. They come together. It's just inevitable. Like learn to just accept it because fear allows you to grow. Set a vision. I know it sounds woohoo, but if you're into any type of self-development, which I am a huge, huge advocate of, you are one choice away from choosing how you show up differently today. You are one mm -hmm. choice away from choosing how you think. You are one choice away from anything that you want. And yes, it's hard. Yes, it's going to be a struggle. But you are one freaking choice away from making yeah. this happen. And she's telling you this. I just want to repoint out the things that you've said, Trace, because I don't want people to miss how epic it is. You drop so many nuggets that I don't want people like, ah! right so if you're writing notes like write that down so make a commitment commit to yourself yeah. write yourself a vision put it on your bathroom wall put it where you freaking work out put it in your car because what you tell your mind what you yeah. what you program into your subconscious brain you will believe if you tell yourself you're shit for long enough you will be shit right if you tell oh, yourself yeah. that you're epic and you're amazing and you have the courage. Like you don't have to know the answers, but you know that you can figure it out with the right coaching, the right yes. teaching, the right community, the right support. You know that you can do it. And you tell yourself that long enough, you're going to believe that too. And she just told you that, which is exactly the path that they took. So thank you for sharing all that. And I, I'm so, oh, I'm good. so wound up right now. Like you are like, I'm yes, like so go backflip into my freaking gym right now because I'm like, yes, like my body is like screaming as you're talking like, yes, yes, yes. Um, it's just, I just wish more people would grasp onto this. And, and I was like you trace, like I spent years talking bad about myself and I spent mm -hmm. years you know, saying, oh, Jesse, the mistakes you made in the past, like, why should anybody listen? Why are you not even worthy? You're not this. Like, I thought about taking my own life a couple points in my in, in life. You know what I mean? And it's just, um, yeah, like what you're speaking is just, it's just flowing. You know what I mean? It's hitting every nerve because I, I know that feeling, even though our stories are so, you know, different, there's so much of the same. I'm finding that out with so many people. Um, and I know there's so many people that, you know, that relate to that. So, okay. So you guys win the ice body challenge. You're freaking over the moon excited, you know, for people that don't know what that is, that changes your life. I mean, literally, not only does it do everything else that Trace has already talked about, there is a huge cash prize that comes with that, which is mm -hmm. life changing. Um, you get exposure, you get opportunities, you get free stuff, you get trips, uh, I mean, you are like treated like kings and queens. I know that for a fact because I have I have multiple friends now, like not just like, oh, I know this person, like multiple people that I actually like really know that I know that are winners, you know, and and, and it's just so awesome to, to know the reality, like to see this happen into like you're here. It's not just like you're a cardboard cutout. You know what I mean? Like here you are. Um, you know? <laughs> yeah. So you guys win this and, you know. What's going on after that? Um, tell me a little bit about life and then tell me how ER Shred came in. Because you guys are already healthy. You don't need to lose a ton of weight. Um, you know, you're not doing this for like the average reason. Like how did, you know, what was happening and how did ER Shred come into your life? Uh, so what I'm going to share now, I just, I feel that this is a really important part because, so yes, we won and we're on cloud nine and we look the best like that photo you put up. 
I don't quite look like that right now, you know, but we were in our best shape. We were in our best health. We were in our best mindset because everything was just go, go, go till that very moment. There was not one ounce of disbelief. We believed it right through. There was not mm -hmm. like a shaky moment. We went out there with such confidence that we had already won and mm -hmm. we won it. And then mm -hmm. we, um, so from winning, yes, we took, because we took the whole family over there. I've told you from the start, like everything yep. I do is for my yep. family. It's That's my core. So we took the whole family with us. We took my mum and they all got to be their first, like in the front row to be in that moment. Because if we had have won that moment and they were not there on the stage, it wouldn't have meant been the same. Mm. So they were in the moment, we won it, and they were just like, oh, my gosh, mum and dad, tears everywhere. And then yeah. with the money we won, some of the money we won, it was phenomenal money. We went and paid for a, an amazing apartment top of the in Sydney, top of the skyline, whatever you call it. We don't live like that. We live on the country. Mm -hmm. We see sheep mm -hmm. and cows. So we let them experience city life. Life was amazing. It was like, oh, my gosh, this is this is so good, so good, so good. Then we all came home from Sydney and we got COVID. <laughs> so we all got really, really sick. But through having good health, we thankfully recovered really well from that. But it, as we, so we recovered from that and we just, I don't know quite how to explain this, but because you've hit such a high, what always comes after a high usually is a low. Because mm -hmm. we can't, we can go up here, but no one ever remains up here 100% of the time. No one. When you start crashing, this is what happened to me. I started crashing again. So for months and months, I was good. I was healthy, but I was maintaining because mm. I didn't have that vision anymore. I didn't have that drive of winning grand final winner anymore. I had the drive of showing up for other people now. Mm. And when I'm showing up for other people, I can easily sit in the background and not be 100% myself. How many times have you put a mask on? quickly to show up for somebody else but really behind that mask you're not a hundred percent yeah so that started happening for me and you know those memory patterns of when I was adrenal fatigued when my energy was low and I was starting to feel heavy in my mind again mm -hmm. those memory patterns and those things started happening to me again yet mm -hmm. I was still using the whole system I was still healthy but something was going on with me again. And I was like, hell no, I am not going back. I'm not going back there. We have worked far too hard to let all of this go. So besides showing up as the grand final winner ambassador, um, you know, we jump on calls, we do coaching, we do all of that. But in the background, I was starting to drop again. Mm. Again, what should cross my path? ER shred. As I'm starting to dive back down here again, I was like, what is going on? I went and had blood tests and my liver came back a little bit abnormal. What does your liver do? It's what detoxes everything out of your body and absorbs what you put in your mouth too. So mm -hmm. something wasn't right in, in my body. ER Shred, Sharon, Jackie, Jackson, all those down under, you, you know, yeah. Aussie yeah. that are quiet yeah. right now. I yeah. have to just give all my gratitude and thanks to them for saying yes to you crazy people in America. <laughs> and, you know, they they laughed too and they were like, what the heck? How can you live on meat? Mm. We live on the farm. And when I cook yep. a roast, you know, all the fats and all the good juices, and I'd always smack Hinati's hand and be like, get out of that stuff. It's bad for you. You can't eat all that fat. Well, now I'm like, darling, you go for your life and eat all the fat you like. Yeah. And he's just yeah. like, this is amazing. So yeah. when Shaz and Jackie and them shared this with me, I was like, no way, nah, nah, nah. But because I was in the state I was of going down again, I was in a place of saying yes to anything mm. to get myself back up. I love to have energy. When I have energy, I'm on my A game, like most of us. If you've mm. got energy, you're going to show up well energy mm -hmm. for energy and so I said yes 11 days what's 11 days yeah sure so we did it and my gosh by day two was day two day three I was just like jumping out of bed 
I had, I was awake and ready before the alarm. I was just energized again and the mind clarity just was like back on fire again. I was like, oh my gosh, this is who I, this is, I remember the feeling of this is how I love to be. Mm. I love to feel, we all love to feel good, I know, but I just love to feel so good with my energy because then again, I'm a better mum, I'm a better wife. I hate showing up shit. Yeah. For myself and for them. So ER shred, yep. We live on the farm, like I said, so meat's not a problem. Pull out all we have a freezer full of meat and it would we'd give it all away because we didn't like to eat it. And now we're like, yes, baby, get in this freezer. What should we eat yeah. for lunch? What should we eat yeah. for dinner? And we're in a gold mine. Like you all know, we've got hunting on our backyard. We go out hunting and catch our own venison, fill our freezer up, and we've got meat on a plate. But yeah. in doing that as well, we also now give out meat to other people as well. So yeah. it's just, I'm so grateful that ER Shred was showing again across my path, showing, I was showing the way. And just like ISA Body, the community, you, like you guys are pretty crazy, but <laughs> the first call I got on and you were sharing, Jesse, and you were sharing and you just had this energy and you were like, you just spoke real raw and yeah. you were straight up like there is no mucking around. You don't paint a pretty picture. And I was like, this is my kind of guy. This is my language. These are my people. And I just resonate with that so much. And when you're mm. in the right community, again, there's that belief, that support, and that just that you just anything's possible when you're in the right community. Yeah. I love that you keep saying that it's, it's such an important piece. Um, there's so much literature to this, um, you know, through, I mean, weight loss is obviously nothing new. Uh, it's centuries and centuries and centuries that people have tried. Um, and study after study after study shows, I mean, if you have the right support system and you got the right community, that is such yeah. a huge piece of the puzzle. So if you're looking for a sign, let this be your sign. <laughs> Ding! like here's your sign um you know our community is free at www.ershutters.com freaking free sometimes i call sean and i was like bro i can't believe the value that we just give away um you know and now that we have so many of you epic legends being created in there where everybody is just like the coolest thing I've ever seen is like people like you who, who experience this amazing thing. And the first thing that people want to do is turn around and help somebody else. Like that's yeah. what this community is all about. Trace. Like it's so mm -hmm. amazing. Like everybody's turning around, you know, if they've made it through the 11 days and they didn't think that they ever could, and they just prove to themselves, like the new person coming in has now that person turning around going, Oh my God, I was you like, just go like, we'll cheer for you. We'll do this for you. Like we got your back. Like, just go like, just freaking go. And, and then yeah. that person moves on and then it turns around. And now after two, two and a half years, we have 20, almost 27,000 people thriving. And I want that to be millions because, you know, the more people that we can get, I mean, look at what this small community, this is still a small community, realistically, right? Yeah. There's millions and millions of people in the world. And this is a small community, but it's like, look at what the fire brings, right? Look at what it does when you can throw your log on a bigger fire. It's just going to bring more things to your life. So I love that you keep bringing that up. Um, and we keep, we keep going back to that. Cause I, I think besides all the other stuff that we've talked about, you know, you, you stepping up for yourself and making the commitment and making the vision and putting it on the board and all those epic things that you shared, um, you know, the community is what saved you the first time. And then the community again is what brought you back. So I just, I really wanted to highlight that. And, you know, I want people to kind of pull that out because um, you're right. It's such a big, important piece, you know, and I love, I love the fact that we're known as the crazy people. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And that like not everyone's gonna resonate with crazy people, but for some yeah. reason I do, so maybe crazy. But um there's 
you know, we all resonate with different people in the world, but when you find your people, it's just yeah. like you become so alive. Like that, yeah. like I've heard shares and them say it, that come alive, like whatever. Like yeah. yeah. But <laughs> it is real. Shit. And you do come alive. Yeah. 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 It is. Yeah. And then because my family think my family think I'm crazy. I've got actually my mum who's just about to start ER Shree because she had suffers arthritis really bad. She thinks I'm crazy, but because she trusts me. She's now going to give it a go for herself. And that's how it works. Mm. By me just being me and showing up for the yeah. right people, yeah. they're then yeah. going to come. Yeah. And when you put yeah. them in this group and they connect with people like you, like how I say I've connected with Jackie, we're like soul sisters. And whenever if something's hard or we're struggling or we just need someone to talk to, I can ring her and she's there at a drop of a hat. I would have yeah. never, ever known her if yeah. Isogenics wasn't introduced to me. Yeah. I would have never known you. I would have never sat here talking to you, who yeah. is such an energy fireball. And that's what I love in my life is people like you guys. So it's just like the more I show up for someone else, they're going to come in and then they'll have an experience and then they'll share it with somebody else. And that's exactly how it works by us just yeah. giving back and giving back and giving back. Yeah. I think they call that the ripple effect. It is. It's the ripple right? effect. And it's throw beautiful. a little throw a little stone in the water and the and and the ripples go right and the and the impact is just is just epic so all right so look, real quick so you get you you we obviously figure out how you get to er shred by day two you're already having the feelings i think another thing i don't want to let go either is the fact that you you know be strong enough because you kind of said this you were like look i felt myself going back to those old ways and when you started to yeah. share with me how you were putting, you know, you, you get, how many people do this? We, we get to this end goal, right. And we have this end goal in sight and we get there and then we forget to set the next goal. We forget yeah. to say what's next. Right. And I want to encourage you guys that are maybe doing the shred. Maybe you've done 11 days, you've done 20 days, whatever it is, like keep setting the next goal, like congratulate yourself, reward yourself, celebrate yourself. Don't forget to do yeah. that either. Don't forget to do that because it's so important. Like really acknowledge like, holy shit, I did that. And I didn't think I could allow that to then become part of your new identity, but don't forget to set the next goal. But you were smart enough to acknowledge and go, whoa, wait a minute. I'm going back to the old mom. I'm going back to the mom that that put everybody else first and let myself go to shit. And I'm not going to do that again. And then thank God, you know, Rick and, and Tasha Whedon shared this with Jackson at Celebration. And Jackson went in a deep dive hole and he went through all that and missed the top 100 dinner. And he was all looking at ER Shred on YouTube. And then he said yes. And then from there, he, he got all you guys. And it's like, look at what's going on. You know what I mean? Like that is just an epic thing. And I I'm so with you on the connections. Like you guys, like I say this all the time, like I need to live in Australia, New Zealand, because every one of you guys is like my people. You know what I mean? Like y'all swear, you curse, you think it's normal. You don't think I'm like a bad person for it. Um, you have energy, you love fitness and health. And I'm like, yo, you know, <laughs> let's go. Um, so you, you do ER shred. Obviously you have this like come alive moment. And just for the record, Shaz said, come alive was a crock of shit. That's what she told me. Come alive was a crock of shit until she believed it herself. Um, so we love her too. Cause she's very brutal and honest. Um, so you, you come alive and you have this new realization, right? Cause before you weren't eating the meats, you were doing what you what you thought was healthy. What have you guys now come to realize about food um, in particular, like if you've learned anything through that. It's just like knowing your foods, like understand, understanding knowledge is power. And, you know, the pyramid scheme. And I think there's like with the kids at school, when they have a nutritionist come in and they're taught the pyramid scheme. Yeah. Each of veggies and meat and butter and all that's at the very bottom. Yeah. So it's it's what we it's what we're taught from years yeah. ago as a child. Why when you guys came along about your meat and stuff, yeah, a crock of shit because that's yeah. that's the wrong <laughs> way. That's down. That's back in the front. Yeah. But 
sometimes when you it takes one very brave person to go against the grain and then show that this is possible and that's yeah. what you guys have done and then that's what jackson did you know like you said he missed that yep. dinner went yep. away and he did this er shred he went against the grain and yep. there are so many people who are stuck i'm not gonna like isogenics is amazing the whole system but if you're stuck in yourself or you're in a rut Shaz, she was plateaued. She couldn't shift any more weight. Yep. And then she tried something else. You've got to try something. And if it works for you, then bravo, bloody congratulations. But if it doesn't, then go try something else. But yep. ER Shred, like I, people go, you're gone all goo goo. What are you talking about? It can't be real. Beck was the same. Beck and Rico who have just tried yep. it. You know, I was talking to them about it and they were like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you so like yeah. energized and what's going yeah. on? And I told them, well, they've now tried it. You don't believe until you try it for yourself. Yeah. Like I say to anyone, don't believe me, just do it for yourself. It's only 11 yeah. days, give it a go. But I'm just so glad again that I said yes. Because if I didn't yeah. say yes, I don't know where I'd be. And mm. it's now given me, so going back to food, it's given me, there's no guilt around food. We just had our fifth, our son's fifth birthday party. So what is there? There's cakes, there's, there's biscuits, there's ice cream, there's all sorts. I don't eat all of it, but sure, I had a piece of cake because you've mm -hmm. got to celebrate with the baby. Yep. We did a huge lamb roast on the spit, so we, we supplied meat. But knowing that I can eat that, yes, I'm going to feel a little bit tired. My energy dives straight away. That's my biggest thing, energy. If I eat mm -hmm. crap food, my energy dive straight down but then i know as soon as monday's here that was sunday as soon as monday's here i incubate my shakes back on my meat and i just love how simple it is to get myself back alive again yeah 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 it's one of the things i'm so excited about like the simplicity you know for people um i mean you just you always have a solution you know and i love that you've come to this realization that you know, food is not your enemy. Food is your friend. Um, I love that you're not some scared. Some. <laughs> yes, yeah, some food. You're right. Food. Um, I love that, you know, you're not scared to live life. I mean, because you're right. Like it's, you know, too many times when we get into health, it's like, oh, it's an all or nothing. And no, you can't have that. And that's a good food. And that's a bad food. And it's like, mm -hmm. can we flip the script? Like, can we, can we, can we realize that this shit is not working for people? I mean, in America, I don't know what it's over there, but 88% of people are deemed metabolically unhealthy. That means they have a, some sort of underlying alienating chronic disease. 88% of the population. Like, whatever you're doing, the shit is not working. You know what I mean? So yeah. you can think we're crazy, but please, like Trace is telling you, have an open mind. Give yourself the time. Explore. Um, you know, try something different. Um, even if you're, you think it's nuts. Like, Prove it wrong. Prove it wrong. Like I do. Like if I think something, I'm like, okay, I'll prove this wrong. I'll, that's the same thing I did with isogenics except almost eight years ago. I was like, okay, I'll do it. I put a note in my alarm. I said, day 30, call them up, tell them they suck and get your money back. Like everything else, you know, cause I've been doing this for a long time. Oh, eight years later, excuse me. And I'm still here talking to you. So it's like, you never know, like surprise yourself, surprise yourself. You know what I mean? Surprise yourself. Okay, friend, listen, I want to respect your time. You have shared so many amazing nuggets. Um, again, thank you for showing up and being raw and real and vulnerable. I know that's such a passion of yours because you, you've experienced this change. And this is, this is where, where I live every day is I'm like, I know what it feels like to not feel good. And I know what it feels like to know what I feel like today. And at 43 years old, I feel better than I did at 20 years old. People need yeah. to freaking feel it. Like, yeah. People deserve to feel like this. Like, that's why I won't shut up. You know what I mean? Um, what am I missing? Is there anything else that we can leave people with? Is there any other nuggets of information that you want to drop on people? Um, so, and, and then we'll schedule another time because I feel like we got so much more to talk about. Oh, uh, yeah. I just honestly think. I think when you just become true to yourself and really dig inside here, so much goes on around here. And like I could listen to you and trust you, but then I could go over to my dietitian and trust them. Who do you trust today? You just don't yeah. know who to trust or whose opinion is right. Go in here 
and trust yourself and believe in yourself. And that's what I've learned so much because I never believed in myself. But now that I know I'm so much more worthy of than what I was to what I'm going to live out now in my future. But you just got to everything. The key to everything I believe is in here. Mm. And when you trust this, it will lead you to the right people, the right place, the right community. And then if you just trust yourself with it, you can flourish. And I mean, anybody can flourish. It's a choice you make in your life, like your mindset, your heart, your health. It's all a choice you make. You can choose to eat the pie. You can choose to eat the meat, whatever. At, at the end of the day, everything you do is a choice. I teach my kids this all the time. Everything you do is a choice. If you choose to be disrespectful to mum right now, that is a choice you made. You have mm -hmm. to live with that consequence. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Life is a choice. We all are given freedom, choice of freedom. You've just got to choose what's right for you and what's not and trust that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautifully said. Beautifully said, friend. Listen, thank you again. I really appreciate working around the times. Uh, you are 17 hours ahead, uh, so you're technically in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not yeah. this it is not easy trying to figure out this time thing. Um, so I appreciate oh. you being flexible, being willing. Um, thank you so much for what you bring to this community. I know Sean, Crystal, myself, Susan, Heather, like from the board, like we cannot thank you guys enough. I know everybody says thank you, but it's it's all of us. You know what I mean? It's not one person. Uh, it's the collective community that really makes this such a special, special thing. And there is nothing else. I'm telling you, there's nothing else like this in the industry. Um, you deserve to, to do what you deserve to have, what ER Shred community um, can bring to your life. I know you do. Um, so thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I cannot wait to get to know you and your husband more. Um, I can't wait till we can all get together and figure out this travel so we can all have this epic party. Um, I know it's going to be- Celebration. I, I know it's going to be so awesome. Um, so thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I can't thank you enough, so- Oh, uh, I thank you. Giant thank you hugs for from America. Me. Yeah, thank you for allowing me this time to share with you guys too. But can I just say, so where yeah. I'm from in Gisborne is the first place to see the sun in the world. The first place in the world. In the world. So I need first to get my place last. To see the sun in the world. Some of you yeah. have seen the views that we have when we're hunting. I know Sean and them have. That yeah. is the first place in the world to see the sun and that's our place unbelievable on um, that's epic yeah. so me and my wife yeah. we call ourselves sunshine we call ourselves sunrise chasers because we're always up oh. so early like getting out training so that means Love. that we just need to come visit you guys because that's the first place that we can chase the sun in the world and it's in the in world, world. Yeah, that's, come awesome. And visit. that's awesome. awesome all right guys listen Thanks. do us a favor drop into the comments Go shout out. What did you learn from this? What did you pull from this? Uh, give some support to Trace. Um, let her know, you know, what you got from it. Commit. Drop into the comments. Commit to yourself. What are you going to commit to do? Drop it into the universe. Let us cheer you on. Let us support you. Again, if you're not in the group, www.ershutters.com. Get your ass in there. Every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, American time. That's when this call goes live. That's when we're chatting. That's when we're sharing another epic story in the hopes that it will reach one person. One person's yeah. life can change because if that's what we do, then everything that we do is worth it, right? And obviously, we know that comes into so much more. So every single Tuesday night, we do that. Tomorrow, don't miss the Come Alive call. Um, that's going to go live again. And then we're going to do that every other week until, you know, through the holidays till we get there. We're gearing up for our December um, shred, which is December 5th through the 15th. And then... The big epic one, obviously. Everybody's waiting for the new year. I would encourage you not to wait for the new year. Don't do that shit to yourself. But if you're going to be that person, we will have a new year shred probably the third week in January. Everybody comes back and we'll get that going on. So plenty and plenty of chances. You can start anytime you want. Just say yes to yourself. If you took anything from this, please just freaking say yes for yourself. So Trace, have an amazing night. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And we will chat with you guys real soon. Bye-bye. Thanks.